How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Orush, and this is another episode of Patapon 2, and in today's episode, we are going to the jungle. Exploring the Juju Jungle. I love that name, Juju Jungle. I still don't have anybody new in my team, just free spearmen, that's not a lot of people. Ow, my fucking leg. Free spearmen. They're on the loading screen, I guess, they're the most important people. I'm about to get rid of them later in the Let's Play, because there's different kinds of Patapon in Patapon. For example, spearmen can be replaced by lancemen who are riding horses. I think they're kind of better. Now, they have their advantages and disadvantages. You know, spearmen can often miss with their spear and they can only throw one spear at a time. And lancemen can like ride into, you know, they can ride into fucking horse, like enemy lines. But the downside is that spearmen can throw over the first people in the line. So let's say you're fighting a boss fight. Not a boss fight like a big monster. You're fighting a boss fight that's kind of like plot related. So like a evil... Not Zigatons. What the fuck is the tribe we're fighting right now? They're called... I forget what the fuck they're called. Man, this takes a lot of damage to crumble. My spears are fucking shit. You know what's another issue I had with this game? Taking thumbnails for it. I just couldn't fucking take a thumbnail that didn't hit a bunch of shit on the screen. Like Patapon saying something, the numbers appearing, the the drum showing up. Oh, what's that? A free sword? Be very useful for my spearman. Also, you can get uh, Patapon riding ho uh, birds. I think there's a Patapon kind like that that are riding birds around. I don't think I got them. I think I was just changing between spearmen and horsemen. Uh, archers can be changed to wizards, which is pretty cool. Wizards are cool. And there's also like the kind... I think each segment of your army can have like three different variants. And there's also guys who have like tubas. And they shoot like a node. And the node bounces around and deals damage every time it touches something. We got a dude with a sword on our team. Check him out. Fuck it up. Damn, one hit, 500 fucking damage. That's a lot. That was a crit too. Also, he is carrying some kind of legendary fucking sword. And no, we do not get it later. This guy doesn't fucking join us permanently. Kind of a bummer because I would win the whole game if he would stay here permanently. What's this pat up on a revading? Lure them to the whatever. Are they called Carmen, right? These guys. Yeah, and... The wizards are cool. I don't like them that much, but... Uh... Yeah, the trombone guys are pretty cool. But honestly, I think you're better... You're best just sticking with the default guys. Unless... The first uh, layer of your army, the first unit that always goes first... Are the guys with swords and shields. Their primary focus actually is shield, because when you use their special, they don't have a big sword and fuck more people easy, easier. They actually get more defensive, so these guys are more about defense. Another thing about them is that as, as long as one of them is alive, your hat upon, the guy who carries a banner, he's immortal. But if they all die, then he starts taking damage and he you cannot upgrade him, which I always thought was a bummer. And if he dies and the rest of your army is still alive, then you lose anyway. Shouldn't have any trouble from now on. No, I will. I mean, not the level, but the game. Now you got Tadapons in yourself, you can take the Master Sprout from the Donga. I don't know what the fuck I need a Master Sprout for, but whatever. Another kind of uh, the first line defense Tadapons are Decapons, who carry giant maces or hammers. And their armor pieces are like shoulder pads, and they're like big and bulky. They're cool too, they... they... I think they're actually less defensive. Even though they're like huge brutes, they actually take more damage than... They're weaker than normal Tatapons. But they deal more, more fucking damage. And they're pretty cool too. One new spear looks slightly better than mine. Mine looks like a fucking arrow pointer. Yeah, and... Looks like something a teacher would use. Or like when they check your eyesight at a doctor's office or something. Like, what's this? Say, and you say, fuck you. That's what it fucking says. Bitch. And 
The third kind are called Robopons, and now they're not robots, even though they kind of look like they are. They wear gloves on their hands, and they're about like damage per second, they just like deal a lot of hits. I don't like those guys in particular, mostly because you have to equip each glove individually, and I never have like a lot of good ones. So it's like the first guy ends up having cool ones, and then the rest of them don't have anything cool. And then you have different Patapon races, which you can all like change each individual Patapon's race. And that gives them bonuses too. I think by the end of this game I get like one that's like really fucking good. I remember I had one uh, Patapon with a spear, I think, who became like a god Patapon or whatever. And he was like fucking overpowered. As, as long as he was alive I had no problem, but as soon as he died I was fucked. What you got to show me? With the Master Sprout, we can bring the Tree of Life matter back to life. There are rumors of Dodongas near the Dodonga ruins just past the Najahiro Hill. Defeat the Dodonga to return to Master Sprout. The Dodonga ruins have a Dodonga in the Madden, really? Madden, I mean. Yeah, I think we're gonna do one more level and get our ass kicked. Or whatever the fuck happens, I don't know. I don't know, I haven't. I don't remember what I fucking did one year ago in this fucking game. Oh, maybe I did this. Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, but like I said, I think it's better that you stick with the default ones because each type I just described to you, you can only have three of them at once. But the default ones, the uh, the like guys with spears, guys with bows, and guys with swords, you can have five of them. So by the end of the game, your army consists of like seventeen parapons, and that's pretty cool. Even if you manage to have one that still has like a default spear or something, he's, you know, at some point not gonna do any damage because enemies are gonna be too tough. But who the fuck knows, maybe you'll find something insanely amazing. So this challenge is, I have to get to the end of the map within a time limit, I think. There's a time limit? Yeah, I got a hundred seconds. And you know, there's shit in my way. So I got, um, I'm not gonna succeed, and I think it took me a couple of episodes couple of episodes attempting this to actually pull this off. I think I needed my army, like, everybody in it. Spearmen alone w weren't enough. Even though this, this shit falls over with one hit, I think later in the level there starts to be, like, brick walls and stuff and they don't fall with one hit anymore. Look, there's a chameleon on the tree, you see that shit? That's so cute. That's awesome. I was playing um, Astrobot recently, and there were some local Roco references in there. So I wonder if if Patapon also got referenced in that game. I kind of doubt Patapon will ever like. The best we can hope for now is a Patapon Free remaster. To be honest, I doubt if we will ever get a Patapon Four. Maybe one day, and it will turn out it's a mobile game or whatever, and it'll be fucking shit. Local Rogue of Free could happen, that would be pretty cool. I don't think Sony are very much interested in doing like quirky fucking side games like that. But then again, fucking Astrobot was really fucking good, but that was a free game, so maybe they didn't pay much for it. I don't know. Also, people who made Astrobot are the same people who made Parapon. I think it's good Jap Japan Studio, right? Well, Japan Studio and with Patapon, it was like Pyramid that also helped them out. It said I did it, but I had to get to the end. I got four stones. They kind of look like sushi, but they're stones. Pebbles, whatever the fuck they are. Oh my god, you would not believe how stressed out I am right now. Oh, you can fucking cut the fucking air. Yeah, I'm gonna cut myself, motherfucking sons of bitches. Shit's going to shit. And here I am making Let's Play of Parapon 2. As if nothing's going to shit. Talking about Parapon ver variants. As if that's what I need to be doing right now. That's it, I guess. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.